Hi friends, I am Ramona Williams here at Children's Museum Houston. I am outside by Eco Station and Flowworks, and yes, we are open. So today I am going to do this fun activity with you. It's called Shape Pop Scott, where you can learn and identify your shapes and have fun at the same time. So here are the materials you will need for this hopscotch activity. First, you will need a piece of cardboard, some type of fastener, a paper plate, scissors, multiple color construction paper, a pen for a hack that I'll show you in a second, a marker, tape, and glue. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make our spinner. So I have my piece of cardboard. I'm going to cut an arrow. Now I did trace this arrow, but the first arrow I made, I actually freestyled it. So I'm going to do a quick cut of the arrow. Okay, there we go. So we have an arrow. Now, like I said, my hack. I'm gonna use this pen to make my hole in the arrow. And I would make sure that mom or dad or whoever is helping does that. So see, I have my pen and I have my arrow and the hole. Next thing we wanna do, we're gonna set this to the side. And I wanna do the same thing. We have to make a spinner, so I need to have a hole on this side of my plate. And here again, I'm gonna use my trusty pen find somewhere about the center of it and it might bend up the plate just a little bit but that is okay. So I have the start of my hole and I'm just going to shimmy it in there until I have a decent sized hole. Because the object of this is to make sure that your spinner can spin around. So I take my arrow, place it on top, match my holes up and then use my fastener to fasten the arrow to the back of the plate. And then I'm just going to open up the fastener on this side. So here I have my spinner. Now see this is kind of tight. Now if it's a little more tight than you want it, you can kind of shimmy it a little bit to open the hole up and then make sure that it's not too tight on the back side, okay? So I'm gonna loosen that up. Oh, look at that, we're spinning now, we're in business. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. Now, I want to use my pieces of different color paper and I'm gonna cut some squares. Or you can cut circles, you can cut hearts, whatever. But I'm, to make it quick, I'm gonna cut some squares. And what I did was I stacked all my paper together so that way I can do it all at once. I'm gonna take my squares, put it on the plate, and you guessed it, I'm going to tape them down or not tape them down, I'm gonna glue them down. So here quickly, gluing each of the squares. So the cool thing about this activity is it can be either recognizing shapes or recognizing colors. And just like that, my spinner is starting to take shape. Ha, huh, pun intended. Now, the last thing that I wanna do for my spinner is I wanna put shapes on here. Okay, so you're gonna identify shapes. This is a great time to talk with your child about what shape do you want on your spinner. So I think I'm gonna go with a circle, and maybe a heart, and then maybe a square. Also, let's do a rectangle, a triangle, and hmm, let's do a star. Now I'm not really good at doing stars, but I am here for the challenge. And then a star. And here you have your spinner. Hey, get back here. And here you have your spinner. Okay, so now we're gonna set this aside so we can do the next part, the final part to this activity. I have my multicolored paper. Move all this extra to the side. I have my multicolored paper and I'm gonna make sure that I make the same uh, shapes that I have for my colors here, right? So I know I did a circle, so I'm going to cut out a circle. Really quick and easy, cut out a circle. Now, if you wanna be perfect, you don't have to worry about eyeballing it, draw a circle first and then cut it out. 
Here's my first shape. Now I might want to do a heart. So the object of this is just to cut out multiple, I would say do about three to four shapes, the same shapes, right? So I would do three circles and maybe three hearts and maybe four triangles, okay? And then after you cut out all of the shapes that you want, it is time to get started with the fun. Purple. Square. Great thing. That is our shaped hopscotch. I hope you had a fun time watching me make it and that you go out right away and you make a hopscotch for you at your home. Do it in the house if you want to. You can do it outside and make a hopscotch outside. That is all the time I have for you today. I am Ramona Williams. I hope you join me here at the museum. We are open and ready for you to come and play.